Guru Nation, how's it going? So today I'm going to be vlogging as much as I can of my site selection visit while keeping the study info confidential. It's a remote site selection visit, so they're going to do it by laptop, by something like Zoom, and then I'm supposed to give a site tour remotely. So I'm going to see if somebody can film me while I do that, and stay tuned. Hopefully you learn a thing or two. I'll try to show you guys what it's like to do SSV remotely um, and what kind of questions they ask. So see you soon. Guru Nation, so in about 20 minutes, gonna have the actual SSV start. Um, the monitor emailed me a few days ago the site visit agenda so I'm just gonna go through that with you uh, on the site visit agenda they're gonna discuss the protocol the enrollment the informed consent our experience both all the PI the sub eyes the coordinators the staff time commitment any audit findings monitoring so they're gonna talk about how we keep source we use Creo so that's gonna be easy records and retention staff availability Look, I'm available as needed, Guru Nation, EDC. Uh, then I'm gonna do actual tour, so I'm gonna take my laptop and I'm gonna walk it around the clinic to do a tour. I had to ask the uh, staff here, like when would be the best time for that. They told me noon because there's no patients here. Uh, they're actually very protective of HIPAA at this clinic, which is good. So speaking of data protection, I got a data, I can't show you the forms because it's going to give away the study, but I got a site data protection consent form. So the purpose of this is to assess our eligibility for participating. We express our interest. They, as part of the assessment, sponsor may disclose your info, so the site's info, to third parties including CROs, affiliates, vendors. As a site owner, this is great you want them to share you can probably get maybe get more studies I actually think this is one of the reasons why we always hypothesize well that first study is the hardest but after you get that first study they become easier I think it has a lot to do with this site data protection or not protection they're just letting you know that they're gonna share your info with other sponsors CROs vendors and things like that that's why I think it becomes easier once you get that first study. The next document I had that I had to have my PI sign this morning was the investigator source agreement. So it basically lists, okay, all these different things. So for example, statement of consent, PI confirmation of eligibility, the demographics, past medical history, con meds, lab assessments, physical exams, AE, SAEs. It just keeps going on with all the source stuff that we're going to collect it asks us where it's going to be collected so obviously it's source the location we use e-source so it's creo and then the type whether it's paper or electronic and it goes this way for three pages uh, and you just gotta basically lift it's all repetitive I just put creo source and electronic on everything and then had to have my PI sign it and the last document I got was the electronic source data integrity questionnaire so it asks you questions about your e-source systems and your EMR systems. Um, basically it says, is it held, is the subject source data held on a computerized system? Uh, how do you assess the data integrity for the system below? Creo handles all that for us, so we have all the documentation for that. How will the monitors conduct source data verification? Will they be given access, their own password? Again, Creo takes care of all of that. Creo, C-R-I-O, takes care of all of that. Finally, um, I had to sign as the site director and the PI had to sign. So those are things that we had to do. Honestly, it's very easy. The hardest part, and maybe other site owners feel my pain, was the format for, for the source data, the format for the investigator source agreement was way off so when I got this Excel sheet it was so ugly like the margins would leak over into other pages so what's now a three-page document 
I had my wife fix it because I'm not good with that kind of stuff. It took her about 20 minutes. She fixed all the margins and everything. Turns out that my new version of Excel is not compatible with the old version. Whoever created this template was using it. It was a sloppy template. So that's my biggest gripe with this, but beggars can't be choosers. We really want this study. And so we fixed it. We fixed that um, Excel sheet. So what would have been a 15 page thing to print out and it wouldn't have made any sense because different words were on different pages. It became a three page, very clean uh, document thanks to my wife. So I'm gonna do um, the SSV next. I'm gonna try to record where I can. Yeah, how are you doing? He's gonna join us in 10 minutes and he probably only has like 10 or 15 minutes. I screen failed someone today, so I actually have a lot of time. Obviously the source is in Creo, but the medical history and all that, I print it from the site's EMR, uh, which is okay. a private practice, and then I upload it to Creo um, and attach it at the okay. subject level. Uh, here's Dr. Smith. Okay. <laughs> Hello! How are you? Marvelous, thank you. How are you? Uh, that's one of our sub buys and then let me show you the lab first. Okay. So the lab is here and this is where we do the I, these are the phlebotomist. This is the room, Dr. Smith. Hi, Crump. This was the room Dr. Smith was talk, telling you about uh, where they do, <laughs> they do blood. <laughs> I told you people are gonna be worded out. Okay, this is another room. Um, we can store extra things in here. Um, okay. Uh, they can even wait in there and then this is Upstairs, this is like more storage space. Okay. But the, and then there's probably like 20 exam rooms in here. We could walk around, I could show you. This is the main nursing area. These are the other side. That's Dr. Smith's office. And then here, here we have the another drug room um. so wrapped up the site selection visit all in all it was pretty simple it was like an hour and a half they got to talk to the pi for about 20 minutes which is really good they really liked the fact that he actually does see a lot of the targeted patient indication in the private practice, which is very important. Obviously patient recruitment's the biggest issue in clinical research by far. Um, there's a couple follow-up items I gotta do, like calibration records, which I have, and just a couple other things that my assistant, Samantha, um, from the CRC Academy is gonna help out with. And that's it. So we're gonna wait for the approval letter, and then we'll create a Creo workspace and as is usually the case in these site selection visits they pretty much want to give you the study it's yours to lose meaning if you say something that you're not confident in the recruitment or something that's just wildly different as far as the feasibility survey that you did when it comes to either your capabilities for doing the study the staff experience or the patient recruitment I mean unless you differ like greatly from that feasibility survey which we didn't you're gonna get the study so I'm expecting it here soon and thank you for following the journey like subscribe comment share bye bye